Hey folks, this is Whipple Weekly here at the compound. We're gearing up for our trip out west. I uh, just wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that we're taking along with us. Uh, I've got my GoPro mounted up on the top of the Bronco where we're going to get some of our film footage. And then we've got uh, some of the equipment put on the Bronco here. We got our mud flaps installed this week. right there hard to see this thing's a little strange we got our bash plates put on um we'll be ready to go here next friday all right so the upgrades here red rock running rails at the same ones on my jeep wrangler jku um obviously these are for the bronco um, slide them back a little bit if you want to put them on to go with your mud flat this is an f-250 mud flat that comes with all the hardware to attach it. The attachment points are behind the inner fender well here. It's like a carpet. It's just screws with a nut clip. Um, the bash plates we went with, uh, it's a modular skid plate for the modular bumper. This doesn't have the modular bumper. This has the, like the basic plastic bumper that come with the fog lights. So we went with the three piece and left the plastic up here. Hopefully the intercooler survives. I didn't want to take off the tow hooks because uh, then we would have no access to the front to tow. All right, a must have for the Bronco in the back behind the seats because they're carpeted is a Velcro. It's like a rubber slide mat that Velcro's down. Uh, it's really good for dog hair and obviously cottonwood because cottonwood's all over. And obviously the all-weather floor mats, the five-piece front, passenger, rear, and then the back big piece. On our trip here, the camping section of it, how we're gonna camp is we're gonna try out this Napier Sports SUV tent. It comes on Amazon. Also, I think Cabela sells it too. Napier's been around for a long time. It's a nine by nine, seven foot tall. Uh, it looks like an all-season tent with a rain fly. And it also has a canopy that comes off the side. Um, uh, air mattress, we're gonna try out. Uh, just a normal camping mat that you can blow up. I've been sleeping on this pad that, uh, it's like a hospital pad slash ambulance pad that I got a couple years back. It folds up pretty nice. The next thing is, is just the normal camping stuff. So shovel, ax, aluminum camping table. If you can find one cheap from Walmart, that's always a, a plus. Um, I'm taking a hundred foot of blue water kinetic rope uh, in case we need it to tow out or anything like that. Uh, it's not a tow rope, but I'm pretty sure that it can withstand. Yeah, we could double it over probably. Yeah. Um, another thing that uh, we're taking are the soft top windows come out. And this is a travel bag to put the soft top windows in. This is an off-brand aftermarket. Um, this isn't an OEM product at all, but it looks OEM besides not having a Bronco stamped on it or any Ford insignia. I'm taking a Vortex binoculars because um, out west there's going to be huge landscapes. It's going to be nice to have binoculars. I'm also taking a double hammock just in case. I'm not sure if there's going to be trees out west or not. Um, sleeping bag, a, a tarp that I use as a footprint, but it might be a uh, sunshade and a couple extra sheets also for sunshade, depending on how hot. So the air can travel through it. Walking sticks, because when you're in the Rockies, it's a must have, uh, um, a bag full of toe straps, a uh, Yeti bucket with all my camping stuff. So a majority of the stuff I just talked about is going to go inside of this bucket. Uh, this is kind of like a homemade toilet paper dispensary, bathroom buddy. It's got hand sanitizer on the side that you can fill back up. And it's an old Dean's French onion can. I saw this on the internet years ago. You just put in toilet paper and it pulls out like tissues. So awesome. Yeah. That's if you still use dry toilet paper. Uh, also, a bag of microfiber towels, interior cleaning stuff, in case the dust or sand or rocks get unbearable while we're out there. Uh, 
a toolbox that's for actual off-road tools or tools to work on a car if need be. Uh, fuses, everything to take off all the panels, Torx bits, uh, adjustable wrench, sockets for the tire, and then Allen wrench and Torx wrench. This is first aid slash tape, glue, if anything breaks. Hopefully we don't need any of that. We got our three and a half gallon VP Racing Fuels Jerry Can. Got ourselves some road provisions here and we got us another box of tools. And take okay. a look at what's inside. So this is called a Coho. It's an all weatherproof box that you can get from Costco. Uh, it resembles a Yeti box. Um, you open it up. These pouches are removable and you can take this whole thing off if you don't want to run any at all. This comes out. It's just a nice way to store. I store it extension cord, uh, my electronics in here, my rope in here, lights, anything that I really don't want to get wet. Basically our dry box. Yeah, it's our dry box. Next is... We got the DJI 3 Mini Pro Drone. Um, we've got some suction cup mounts for our GoPros and a couple extension arms and things for the mounts. I've got a 15-foot USB-C cable to attach to the GoPro so we don't lose any power. Then we've got an extra selfie stick here that's going to act as a stand. Most of this stuff came from Amazon. I did get the drone from Best Buy. Um, it shoots in 4K. It's got a huge memory card in it. i got a couple batteries for it. I can shoot about an hour of footage. I'm hoping to get some good stuff when we're in the desert. Um, we've got our jump box here as well. God forbid we lose power in the desert. We're going to be able to keep ourselves uh, powered up and, and charge a few things on the road. Um, it's going to be a very interesting trip. We're really excited to get out there. Um, we may get some, uh, some lights installed this week also. Um, stay tuned for that. We may try and get a video Next put together. That we're planning on doing for the Bronco, especially before we leave for the trip, um, is a actual Ford part. It has a Ford part number. It's the rigid 360 four inch, uh, a pillar or mirror mounted lights. Um, really nice construction. Um, I've had rigid before. I've also had Baja design they're nice they're really really nice lights super bright uh there's our youtube videos out there that show the brightness um if you really want to go super bright all the way from a ditch to driving uh these are the way to go the it's less noise if you do this compared to the light bar on the top uh if you put lights on the bottom like fog lights they're nice but they don't shine the same beam outward um, and I'm talking about yards out and I'm talking about ditch and whole view. So you get 180 degrees of light as opposed to just 60. You cannot run these while driving. These are not driving lights. Mm -hmm. Um, Danger. they come with really cool Ford performance covers. Yeah, those are you sweet. can clip these on and run them during the day. That's how bright they are. Um, and a next upgrade is we're doing wheel locks, another Ford part number uh must have yeah we don't want to lose the sasquatch wheels while we're out yeah. there well folks that's all of our gear for the trip that we're taking um i appreciate everyone watching the video hopefully uh, you guys are subscribed and you're liking and you guys will see more content here in the future um, we're leaving this friday when we both get off of work we're gonna head west and we're gonna drive through the night i probably don't think we're stopping we're gonna tag team drive the the bronco here we're gonna get into denver saturday so get rested up and we'll probably shoot another video at that point i'm not sure but i appreciate everybody's support thank you guys again for watching and uh please like and subscribe stay tuned